Hello and welcome back. We're currently on page 24 of the user guide and in this section we're having a look at multiple mathematical operators. Now not all formulas use only one mathematical operator and when multiple operators are used the order of operations must follow very certain rules. So we're going to have a look at that now. Question number one says select cell E57. Let's go ahead and do that. And as usual, chaps, in the F column, we'll see the expected answer here. So we're going to add the first two numbers and then multiply by the third. So five plus three multiplied by two. OK, and our expected answer should be 16. OK, excellent. So we start off with equals and using cell addressing, it's B57, add C57 and multiplied by D57 and then we just hit the enter key. Heavens, that's not what we expected. Now, if we look at this, it would appear that three has been multiplied by two to give us six and then five has been added to that to give us 11. But that's not what we wanted. We wanted the first two numbers to be added together. Five plus three is eight multiplied by two to give us 16. So what the heck's going on? Has Excel let us down? Has Excel got it wrong? Absolutely not. It's something called BODMAS. Okay. It's not an actual term that Excel uses, it's just a, a mathematical throwback to when I was at school and I was given this by a teacher and some of my students recognise this term and others have never heard of it and I'm sure it will be the same with many of you. It's just, it's a mnemonic that just helps us remember the, the order in which Excel carries out its operations. So it's BOD Mass. So B for brackets, O is the operands. Operands are just addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So it's the order of mathematical operations. The D stands for division, M for multiplication, A for addition and S for subtraction. So Excel sticks to a very particular order of operations when it comes to formula that contain multiple mathematical operators. So when we've got a formula such as ours, which contains two mathematical operators, the addition and the multiplication, Excel first looks for the presence of brackets. So if there's any part of the formula or calculation that contains brackets or is, is surrounded by brackets, then Excel calculates this first. It gives it precedence over anything else. But if brackets aren't contained in our calculation, not ours, there's no brackets in ours, then Excel will look at the operands, the mathematical operators. Now in BODMAS, this is the, the aid that helps you, the D comes first for division. So if there's no brackets in the calculation, order of operation kicks in and Excel first looks for a division. So if there's a division present in the calculation, Excel carries out the division calculation first. After that, it will look through the calculation and look for any multiplication. And if multiplication is present, it will carry out that calculation first. So let's have a look at our calculation. So I double click. We don't have brackets. We don't have a division. But hey, we do have a multiplication and it, Excel would carry out this multiplication first. So it's multiplying C57 by D57, 3 multiplied by 2, which gives us 6. Next, Excel will look for the presence of addition calculations, and we have one. So Excel carries out the addition. So we've already got 6. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. And then it just adds a 5 to, to that. So hence the 11. Um, after addition, Excel will look for any subtraction calculations. Well, we don't have any in hours. I'm just going to press the escape to get out of that. So chaps, that's why our calculation resulted in 11 and not the 16 that we expected. So on page 25 of the user guide and question number four, it says to force Excel to execute the addition calculation first, surround this part of the formula with brackets. So we're going to double click into E57 
and then position the cursor immediately after the equal sign. Okay, so you can do it up in the formula bar if you wish or directly into the cell, it really doesn't matter. Let's do it directly into the cell. So directly after the equal sign, you hold down your shift key and press the number nine on your keyboard. That will give us the opening bracket. And then we want to add B57 to C57 first. We want to force Excel to carry out the addition first. So hold down the control key and it's the zero on your keyboard. That will give us the closing bracket and that's it. Okay, so let's just go through that. Excel will look for the presence of brackets first. So Excel goes, boy, I've got brackets, perfect. I'm going to carry out the calculation contained regardless of what the calculation is. It doesn't matter what it is, but I'm going to calculate that calculation within the brackets first. After that, I'm going to look at, this is Excel speaking guys, after that I'm going to look for the operands, which is the order of operations. So first I'm going to look for division and Excel whizzes through, nope there's no division. Next I'm looking for multiplication, oh yep yeah, I've got a multiplication. Okay, so now it's calculated whatever's contained within the brackets, it's found a multiplication so it's going to do that first. After that, it looks for subtraction. In our calculation, we don't have subtraction. So let's just enter and see what happens. Perfect. So if you want a little bit of extra practice, and we've got autofill that we can use here, but if you want just extra practice, then you can start the calculation from scratch. So we know that we want the addition first, but in the order of operations, as far as bod mass is concerned, if we don't put in brackets, we know that it will calculate the multiplication first. So let's put in an equals and an opening bracket, and we can use cell addressing for B58 plus C58, closing brackets, and then multiply by D58 and then hit enter and we get our expected answer. Okay, let's do it again. So it's going to be equals opening bracket B59 add C59 closing brackets multiplied by D59. And then one more equals opening bracket B60 add C60, closing bracket, multiplied by D60, and hit the enter key. And of course, chaps, once you're happy with that, then we could, after a while, when we get more experienced, or if you feel comfortable with it now, we can use autofill, because it's exactly the same calculation. If we turn on our formulas, it's exactly the same calculation. So the three cells we're calculating are relative because they're in the same three positions in the cells that follow. Okay, so the same calculation, the same pattern, just one row apart. That's the reason we can use autofill to drag those calculations down. Let's go over to L60, it's exactly the same. Opening bracket, five, or I should say L57 plus L58, closing bracket, multiplied by L59 and hit the enter key. Please, on your own, if you want to get your head around this, extra practice by inserting those brackets in the correct place or you can use autofill if the penny's dropped and you're quite happy with that. So question number 14 on page 25 says starting in cell E81 complete the subtraction and the division calculations. So that's always down to E81. Now chaps if you like you can pause the video here and have a go at that on your own. So if I just scroll back up again actually if we just hold the screen like that then you've got BODMAS just guiding you at the top here. So it's asking you to subtract the first two numbers and then divide by the third. 
So it would be 100 minus 4 and then divide by 2. OK, so the expected answer is here. Put that for you as guidance. Pause the video. Have a go at these calculations on your own. And it's up to you. You can either do the calculations individually for extra practice or if after the first one you've got it, you've nailed it, you're fine, then you can use autofill and try it over here as well. Just It's just the same calculation as before, but it's just horizontally instead of vertically. I'm going to go ahead and complete this and then you can resume the video and see how you go. Now it's just equals, so subtract the first numbers and divide by the third. So where does subtraction come in our BODMAS list? It comes last. We have to surround that part of the calculation in brackets to force Excel to do the subtraction first. So equals open bracket and cell addressing is B81 and subtract C81, close the bracket and then divide and it's going to be D81 and hit the enter key. Now, of course, if we didn't have any brackets in there and let Excel just follow the rules of BODMAS, then the first calculation that Excel would see is there's no brackets, so I've got to follow the order of operations. I'm looking for a division first. Oh, there's a division. So Excel here would have divided four by two and then carried out the subtraction last. So let's see what that gives us, 98. So it would have carried out four divided by two, that leaves two, and then 100 minus two, which, which would have given us 98. So I'm just going to undo that to take us back to where we were. So that's the calculation. Of course, it's just the same. It's just the same calculation here. So it's going to be brackets and L81 minus L82 and then divide by L83 and hit enter. Of course, extra practice, you could do these individually or you can use autofill. So next up, guys, we're going to have a look at introducing a function called autosum into our calculations that just makes life even easier. So I'll see you in the next video lecture. Well done.